There's an old saying that a leader is hard to find, but easy to recognize. That's Kenny Bowles. As an overnight police reporter, he covered the strange stuff that often happens between midnight and 6 a.m., and he did it well. How do I know? Because I never heard a complaint about him from news director Ray Miller, and that is a credit to Kenny's professionalism. Kenny is a working mentor of mine, a working mentor of mine, and he's earned this award. I wouldn't know the value of the pursuit of journalistic excellence without him. Kenny is without a doubt one of the best managers, best colleagues, and best friends I've ever had. And it's rare in this business to experience all three in one person. This is a newsman's newsman, and I was proud to be around him and to work with him. I've known Kenny Bowles longer than anybody in the business. For Kenny, getting into broadcasting was his way out, out of running the family grocery store. When the local cable company installed a television studio into Lufkin High School, I fell in love. My dad was in the grocery business. I hated the grocery business. Uh, and I knew that it was going to be my life in Lufkin if I stayed with it. I began looking for a way out. And then that gave me the nerve, shortly after my senior year started, to go out to the TV station even though it was on a small scale. Every, every aspect, every skill that it required, everything from operating the camera to directing the show to working audio, changing the light bulbs, sweeping up at the end of the day, I, I was there and I volunteered to do everything. It was new, it was so different from anything I'd ever done. It really had nothing to do with journalism, that came later. It was my ticket out of the grocery business and out of Lufkin. I was ready to leave my hometown. Kenny was a sort of news prodigy. I don't think most people know that he was hired here at KPRC TV when he was only 19 years old. The newsroom was run by Ray Miller, a legend in the business. On his first day on the job, this kid from the sticks shows up in the big city and the first place he is sent is to a mass grave. It scared me to death at the time. I was not aware that this was a big deal. I kind of thought this must happen every day, every week in Houston. It's Wayne. Yes, this is Mama, baby. Mama? Yes. I killed Dean. I'm out of his warehouse. I'm with the police, Mama. Well, after a week of working 24-hour days, uh, I went to the, to the news director, Ray Miller, and I said, I, I think I'm going to go back to Lufkin. I said, I don't think I can do this every day. And he said, well, you know, Kenny, this does not happen every day. This has never happened before and likely will never happen again. This was a big story. This was history that you witnessed. And you will be able to talk about this the rest of your life and the rest of your career. As some of you know, in the early years, Kenny appeared in front of the camera, not behind it. The League of Women Voters is appealing to Americans. Those really tapes of my time? early anchor work, which Georgia's I have not seen for 40 years. It was like I was testing. looking at someone we I knew, like an old friend. I knew him from the past, but I had moved on and left him behind. And I also look at that old anchor work thinking, you know, that guy could have been good. If I was able to work with him now and mentor him and give him a few tips and a few ideas, I could have made a real anchor out of that guy. Let me tell you about the time I worked with Kenny Bowles. The Michael Jackson story was breaking. Bowles was standing behind the desk on the phone, usually two phones, working that story himself. This is an executive who is sending the reporter out to cover a story with an exclusive already in his hand. But it was when Kenny decided to come back home, back to East Texas, and to the legendary KLTV that he found his true calling. He's been a teacher and a guide and in some ways a father figure. You just don't see major top market experience news directors training and, and working with new college grads just starting out in journalism. I've learned a lot from you. You give me an amazing foundation and I just want to thank you so much for all you've done. Given the opportunity to make a difference every night when our anchors say goodnight, to know that somewhere in there we did a little something that made East Texas a better place to live because of the information we conveyed, the investigative report that shined a spotlight on incompetence or injustice, the political realm or the government realm or even in the, in the business community. But those are all things that, that 
have made this career the most satisfying, gratifying thing I could have, I could have done with my life. And I'd do it all over again. I visited KLTV earlier this year, and as I walked into the newsroom, I saw the big sign over the door that says, Journalism Happens Here. That's a testament to the great professional Kenny is, and it shows where his priorities have always been. Every time you reach out to give a piece of advice or to assist and to help younger journalists, uh, you're playing a hand in the next generation. Uh, they're they're going to carry the torch on, uh, and to have that, to have the opportunity to influence them in a positive way and in a good way uh, is is just one of the most incredible rewards of doing uh, what I do. Some people want to move on to a bigger stage from local TV, but Kenny was committed to the local news, and that commitment has paid off, not only for him, but for the public in Houston, Lufkin, and his news director in Tyler. He's worthy of this award. Congratulations, Kenny. And by the way, I still miss Texas. At the time, this was the 10th largest market in the country. Uh, the newsroom was staffed by people, most of whom had worked most of their careers to get here. They were all much older. and. I think you'd have to say the KPRC newsroom at that time had more hot dogs than Coney Island. It was tough competition. Kenny managed that quite well. He was, uh, he was uh, always confident, showed a great deal of ability. Professionally, Kenny has two great loves, journalism and people. As a journalist, he has spent a lifetime determined, vigilant, and dedicated to high value journalism. He's a fighter and a relentless journalist, always in pursuit of one thing, the truth. In our industry, there is nothing, nothing more important than that. Without him in my career, I wouldn't be able to guide young journalists the same way he's guided generations of journalists. I'm grateful to the Academy's recognition of what many of us already know respected, valued, and a true Lone Star. Thank you, Kenny Bowles, and congratulations. You deserve it. Kenny, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me. You were the first person to believe in me and give me my first chance. You also gave lots of other people their first chances. Your leadership, compassion, your dedication to our East Texas viewers, there's no one else like you. His passion, his calm, decisive demeanor, even in the face of pressure, and his determination to bring out the best in you are exemplary. One brief example actually became one of the highlights of my career. I'm airborne on Air Force Two with my photographer covering then Vice President George H.W. Bush's trip to Austin at the very moment of the attempted assassination of President Reagan. The schedule was scrubbed, Air Force Two would refuel in Austin and head straight for D.C. And we reporters would have five minutes to get off the plane, race for the one payphone, and call our desk to see if we could stay with Bush or stay behind. Kenny answered on the first ring at KDFW in Dallas. And breathlessly, I said, I have great stuff. I want to stay with Bush and head to D.C. I could still hear his answer today. Without missing a beat, he said one word, go. Kenny, congratulations on such a coveted honor, hard-earned and well-deserved. I've known Kenny Bowles for many years. Kenny's been a great partner to ABC News and myself. He's always given me great, honest feedback. Kenny has such great enthusiasm and spirit, and it's a privilege to work with him and his team. Congratulations, Kenny. He is both a gifted teacher and a coach who has a knack of finding the hidden talents in others and ignites a fire within them. Oh, he's pretty good at lighting a fire under people, too. He has helped build an entire generation of journalists who now work across the country doing Kenny's work, pursuing the truth, no matter the obstacle or cost. To me, that's legendary. We don't talk about what a Boston employee normally talk about. We talk about headier stuff, you know, it's more ethereal. Um, we talk a lot about news philosophy. We talk about hypothetical situations and what we would do in certain cases. He's really helped shape who I am as um, a journalist and as um, a person in the television business and as a manager. And I really 
learned a lot from his example and from his experience and it's a relationship that I cherish and I'll take all the lessons that I've learned wherever I go in this business um, I'm very very lucky to be able to work with him every day and it's an honor and it's a treasure and it's something I'll never ever forget uh, over the last 20 years I, I've seen countless hundreds of young journalists come through KLTV and KTRE and really benefit from Kenny's experience and I've seen it accelerate their growth no doubt that is a gift to journalism that has put a real mark on this business all over the country all over the world in fact a gift I believe will last for decades your love for the job but yet your reality of family as well as the importance of news in these Texans means so much to me so thank you so much for all you've done and congratulations again and as you used to say in our meetings go get them <laughs>